Boom, we're back. Hi, uh, and we're in the middle of it. Oh, cause... my neck itched. <laughs> oh, my neck itched. Anyway, back to... Back to our... DLCs. DLCs. And... Okay, yeah, I think I know what you're saying. Like, I hate the games that are, like... Yeah, kind of like you said. Like, a lot of the DLC that they have is, like... Well, actually, that's how, like, there's quite a few new MMOs that work uh, that are, like, free-to-play, technically. Yeah. But it's, like, if you want to get anywhere in the game, you have to pay for it. Yeah, which I hate, because then it creates a big gap. Like, there's people who don't want to spend the money, they just want to play the game and have some fun, and then yeah. there's the people who sit there and spend money, and it's like, holy shit, I'm better than everyone else. Yeah, exactly, because you paid for it. Yeah. It's not legitimate. Yeah. Like, that's why I hate... Or that's why I don't get when people are bitching, like, oh pay to play like you gotta pay a subscription I'm like yeah but the thing is everything in the game is given open to, to you yeah it's fair game for everyone you get it by how much effort you put out like for example just like, imagine if oh I cut you off sorry. oh I was just gonna say there's like I know a couple of like MMOs I play a little bit was like uh one's called like Terra and the other one was uh Terra. yeah, yeah I you know know that is. I never heard of it either <laughs> fucking never went there yeah, and Neverwinter 2 is pretty much like that. Like, you can get you can get a lot of cool stuff, and you can get a lot of powerful stuff and stuff, but you gotta pay for it. Mm -hmm. It's free to play, but if you want to get anywhere, you gotta pay. And it's just that kind of stuff that's stupid. Yeah, just imagine if WoW was free to play. That's what I'm saying, that's what everyone was like, oh, I think WoW's gonna go free to play. I'm like, well, it better fucking not. Because then they're gonna have to make... Well, then again... That's what they kind of did, though, in a way, because that's what with they're going with the thing. token thing, yeah. That if, like, you're good... And you know how to get gold really well, which I'm really not good at. <laughs> like, you could fucking get enough gold that you could easily just pay it and buy those tokens every month and, ha like, be able to not play for to free. Yeah. Which, I mean, in that case, it's not so bad because you're still... It's everything's still on a level playing field. Then again, though, I don't know exactly... I don't think they still haven't announced how expensive those are going to be. Haven't like, they come out? I no, they no, come no, out. no. They've been advertising them the shit out of them. It's like... I see them everywhere, but then every time you look at them, you click it, and then you go and look, it just, like, talks about what they do, and it's just, like, price, like, or in-game price, like, still... Well, the pro want to know what, then? There, it's probably gonna be such an outrageous That's what I'm price. saying, it's gotta be something really fucking high. Yeah. So outrageous that they don't want people know to know till the last second, because you know damn well if they announced it oh, before it be came it. out, people would be bitching like no tomorrow and saying, Oh, well, I, uh, well, I don't know if it's every time. I was going to say maybe because then people would be especially trying to farm gold before it came out so yeah. then they could do all that. Another thing that helps with, too, with the uh, coin thing uh, is shit. for people, yeah, it's for people who, like, aren't good at getting gold, like, I guess myself, and then if you wanted to spend money, like $30 or whatever would be more than a month. Actually, I don't think it is that much. I think it's 15. I think it is. But, uh... Ooh, like, you, a... you could spend the money on that coin, and then you could sell it in-game, and in return, obviously, you get the gold. Yeah. So, if it's like, hey, if you want to make money, this is the way you can basically buy money. Yeah. But that's also where things get a little iffy. Because there's games like that, too, like, cool. I'm pretty sure Neverwinter had that option, too, that you buy money. Yeah. Like, with real money. Yeah, like, buy and game currency with... Yeah, and I don't know, I mean, this isn't exactly the same, Not really, but, but it's still, it's still I'm a feeling it's discussion. gonna affect the WoW economy in-game, like, yeah. the market really drastically, I don't know why. Yeah, probably. Maybe, I don't, I don't really know. And I mean, this is still part of the discussion, because it's the way all games are practically going nowadays. Yeah. I mean, at... I, I'm not. I'm not trying to knock any developers here because there are those out there that deliver a seriously good fucking mm -hmm. thing. Like when Evolve. Like even though Evolve. What the fuck? That banana just destroyed my shell. Like Evolve. Even though there's a lot of money you gotta We're put in to get the extra good. stuff, it's fucking good. Like it's worth it. If yeah, but you the really... stuff Evolve gives you is like stuff you don't need again. Yeah. Like I said like that. I can. I'm. I'm fine with that kind of DLC because it's like. It's just aesthetic purposes, like Smite, for example, that, I mean, we are relatively avid. Like, yeah, not in a all while, this, but... Yeah, all that stuff in there, basically, everything you buy is just skins and aesthetics. It doesn't... Well, I guess you gotta buy gods and yeah. characters. Which but, is difficult to accumulate the... Yeah, but, I mean, you don't need those gods, I suppose. I mean, they give you a pretty good variety of gods that you start with that, like... You like, know, if you, you find you got that a mage, one you got a that warrior. you like... Yeah, like... And they're all usually ones that are like pretty easy to pick up and learn, yeah. or easier to learn. Toss me your shell. 
Oh yeah, it's athletic. Fuck! And I lost it! Every time Where we get- Where the fuck is Don- Oh, they're way the fuck yeah. up there. We're finally gonna lose one. Oh my god. Our like, 20-something win streak is over. I feel so sad. You son of a bitch. Oh jeez. Oh uh, well. But, uh, I mean, as I was saying, I'm not trying to knock any developers here or anything, but nowadays it's more about just getting the money more than, hey, we're going to give people something that they're not going to forget and they're going to love for years to come and just go that route instead of, you know, hey, we're just going to get every penny we can out of this until we can't anymore. Yeah, that and also I think it's the whole, uh... Shit! Uh, it's the whole goddamn, uh, that's been talked about for years, is that, uh, gamers nowadays are so soft. Like, they don't, like, feel like they need to, like, get good at any games or anything like that, like... Oh, shit just... still requires skill. Well, I guess, but I mean, a lot of things I don't think are nearly as hard as they used to be, like... The, the common example is, like, Mario games. Like, you play New Super Mario Bros. Wii, or whatever, or Wii U, play that for a while, and then pick up and try to play, like, Super Mario Bros. 3 on, uh... Nintendo, the original. Yeah. That shit is way the fuck harder. <laughs> way the fuck harder. Fucking bananas. And I say that just everything's more dumbed down nowadays. It's not nearly as difficult as it was. Yeah. Another perfect example would be, uh... I had, like, five bucks left on my mm. Nintendo account, so I bought, like, Mega Man 6 for my 3DS. And I played that for maybe, uh... Uh, how long is that? Maybe, maybe like, 10, 15, 20 minutes. And I was getting so frustrated because I couldn't get past the first level because it was so difficult. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there going, what the fuck? But, well, yeah, Mega Man games are harder than shit. Yeah, they are. But I got Mega Man 6 because that's the first one where you can morph with Rush, the dog. And I like that one. Oh, is that 6? Yeah. And then 7 and 8 and 9 and all that is where they go more in depth with it and get more fancy, but that's I'm not sure how. Game Grumps played Mega Man 6. Did they? Mm. Hmm. So I've seen oh, shit. Ah, bitches, mean first now. But, like, that just that's just a testament to it all. Like, that shit is so hard, yeah. but yet it's still so much fun, even mm -hmm. though you, you, you're gonna rage, you're gonna And the thing with that, like, hard games like that, too, that, like... Once you beat them, you just feel so good. Mm -hmm. Like you just accomplished something that was actually like worth your time and worth your effort. Yeah. Nowadays, this stuff is just kind of like you spit on you win. You're like, oh, cool, I won. I rather you pay the money to win. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I paid to win. That's what I'm expecting. Yeah. Like I'd, ra I'd, I'd much rather play and play and play and at frustration mm. after controller breaking and all that shit. I'd much rather beat the game and say, ha, finally, I beat it, I feel good about myself, rather than I pay money for it, and then it's just, mm -hmm. I what, think another what, thing what do too, I do with my life? With, yeah, with why they do so much DLC and, like, you know, try to get as much money out of a game as they can, is that it doesn't help that nowadays technology moves so fast that you're not going to get a, a very long lifespan out of a game anyway. Yeah. Like, look at, like... Like, I mean, look at fucking the Wii U. It's only been out for, like, what, three years, maybe? Maybe. And, and they're already announcing a new console soon. Yeah, exactly. So the technology's moving so fast, like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to make a game that is so... They just want to, like, move on and make money, because, I mean, the next system's going to be out anyway, and fucking might as well get your money out of this while you can. Yeah. Because that's like with Nothing me. Lasts. It's like, I want to get a Wii U, but the possibility of a new console, I kind of want to wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just shit like that. Like, I mean, I think, like, I don't remember if it was the Nintendo or the Super Nintendo. I think it was the original Nintendo. They had, like, a lifespan of, like, over ten years. Mm -hmm. Especially stuff like the Atari... What the fuck? <laughs> yes. Invisible wall on the fucking... Apparently. Sunshine. But, like... I don't know, the fucking Atari 2600 or whatever. That's, like, old school, like, fucking early yeah. 80s. Like, very early 80s. Or shit, like, oh, late shit. 70s. And fucking, that thing, like, literally had a lifespan of, like, fucking, like, 10, 15 years. 
Shit like that does not happen anymore. Yeah, it technology does. goes way too fast. Because everyone wants the next big thing. Well, that and like I said, just technology itself goes up so fast. Like basically, your computer's completely outdated. Mm -hmm. Like in three years. Not even anymore. Yeah, not even. Like I got the, I got one of the newer like. My, mine's technically a gaming computer. It's a piece of shit. It's it? a piece of shit because it, it breaks a lot. Because it doesn't do what it's supposed to half the time, but it's still supposed to be a pretty much a top of the line kind of thing. And in in con, like conjunction with the games and stuff, oh, it does what it's supposed to when it's supposed to. It's a good fucking computer. Mm. But, like, they've already come out with so much better stuff, and it's just oh, like. No. Oh, shit, I should have Oh, never mind. The thing is, they're so expensive, like. Yeah. That's what sucks, like, when you know you buy a computer, and you're like, yeah, I just bought a nice computer, and you're like, well, it's gonna be shit in three years. Mm hmm. Just spend, like, a thousand dollars on it. Or what's gonna happen when one day it's not even computers anymore, and it's just holographic shit that you just project all over your body? Perhaps. That, I mean, that'll happen eventually. I eventually. I mean, right now we're just getting into the whole Oculus deal. Yeah. Yeah, that... Oh, yeah, you sh you saw that fucking controller that they had. Like, the I weird... showed you it. Yeah, that was weird. Like, goes around your hand? Yeah. Like, is that, like, a loop? That's really weird. It was kind of cool, because, like, you grab both, and there was, like, finger buttons on each one. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of, like, a nunchuck for a Wii kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it did have the shape. It just had buttons on it, too. Yeah. Well, the nunchuck does, too. Well, yeah, but more than that, it had, like, buttons up on the face, too. Oh, man. Nunchuck only has two buttons on the back. Yeah. And it's about that time. God, we, like, haven't even been funny, like, the past two episodes. We've just been talking about, like, what our opinions on games. Hey, we don't have to be funny all the time. Some shit can be serious. I suppose so. Yeah. It's it's a nice change. This is, is good. Oh, God. You like it, right? 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 right. I... Love me! <laughs> Love me! Oh, God. Okay. Next episode, guys, hopefully, I think we'll wrap this shit up, I think. Just love me, please!